Every year we talk about a lot of drivers heading into the Knoxville Nationals, but there's one guy that seems to be overlooked, and yet he seems to always be in the mix to make some noise and possibly get to the A main. I discuss it on today's edition of the Sprint Car Limited 90 at 9. Before getting into it, don't forget to head over to www.sprintcarlimited.com to take advantage of our daily exclusive content. From now through the Knoxville Nationals, you can purchase a year subscription at a 20% discount. It's just $28 if you use the coupon code SCUMOM2024. It's easy to get caught up in talking about drivers like David Gravel, Donnie Schatz, Kyle Larson, Brad Sweet, Rico Abreu, and other top names in the sport. They're the favorites going into the Knoxville Nationals, and no doubt some of them will be in contention next Saturday night. But if you're looking for a good sleeper pick, someone who can make the A-Main and possibly have a good run, Austin McCarl might be a good bet. The Altoona, Iowa driver doesn't win like the other heavy hitters we listed. But when it comes to getting around the Knoxville Raceway during the 360 and 410 Nationals, he's a guy to watch. He proved that last night again when he put together consistent runs that put him second in the point standings after night one of the 360 Nationals. McCarl times seventh in qualifying, got through his heat race, and came away with a solid fourth place finish in last night's main event. He amassed 476 points, which puts him 12 behind first place Emerson Axum. Surprised? Not me. Remember, two years ago, Austin McCarl put it on the pole of the Knoxville Nationals. He was looking pretty good in Saturday's A-Main when a mechanical issue dropped him to 16th in the final rundown. It also doesn't hurt that he leads the 410 sprint car point standings at Knoxville by 42 points over Aaron Reitzel, who's put together a pretty good year. Look, McCarl's made the Knoxville Nationals A-Main three times, which doesn't seem like a lot. But as I said, he always seems to be hanging around. I wouldn't be surprised if he contends for a 360 Nationals title and puts it in the show with the Sprint Car World watching next week. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back Monday from Knoxville. Stay tuned.